Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to import the Tenerife demo. On this domain I have installed the team and the team included plugins. In order to import the demo I will need to activate the team. Here I will need to add my license code. I added the code here. I will click check license. My theme is now activated. The theme supports SVG icons for features and amenities and for the demo icons to be imported along with the demo content, you will need to install the SVG support plugin before importing the demo. I will go to plugins. I will click add new. I will look for the SVG support plugin. This is the plugin that you need to install. I will click install now and I will activate the plugin. You need to check the plugin settings and make sure that here administrator is selected. Next I can proceed with the demo import. So I will go to VP Rentals options, import demo. Here you will find all demos available for the VP Rentals team. This is the Tenerife demo. I will click import demo, continue and import and I will wait for the demo content to be imported. The process might take a few minutes. The Tenerife demo was successfully imported. I will click visit site. You can see that the demo content was imported. And next I will show the steps that you need to take after the demo import. I will go back to admin. First you will need to set permalinks correctly. You will need to go to settings, permalinks, check post name and save changes. Next you will need to go to VP Rentals options. Here you will need to replace the demo settings with your own. You need to check each section and make settings according to what your business needs. I will quickly show the main options that you can find here. In Logos and Favicon you will be able to replace the demo logo with your own. In Login and Register you will be able to make settings for the Login and Register process. You need to be aware that from demo you will have a username added here. This means that only this user will be able to submit properties. You will need to replace demo username with your owner username. This means that only the username that you add here will be able to submit listings from front end. The other user that will register will only be able to book. If you do not need this option, you can easily remove this username and save changes. In social and contact, you will need to add your contact details and set social accounts. In map section, you will need to decide on the map system that you want to use. You can keep open street or select Google Maps. If Google Maps will be selected, then a Google Maps API key will need to be created and added in Team Options. In Design section, you will be able to make design settings for listing page, for the listing card, map info box, add your own colors and make other settings. In Payments and Submit, under Listing Submit page, you will be able to manage the fields that will show in submission form. Also, you will be able to choose the rental type, vacation or object rental. In this section, you will also have the option to make settings for booking payments. You will be able to set the deposit fee value and the service fee value. And also you will be able to set the payment options. You can use theme, PayPal or Stripe or you can enable WooCommerce. Next, in search, you will be able to make settings for the theme advanced search. You will be able to select the search type, add fields and make other settings. And in SMS management, you will have the option to enable SMS service that is powered by Tulio. This was a quick overview over the available theme options. I will go back to front end. The home page was imported. You will have all elements as in the official demo, but you will have this section that will require manual adjustments. Here we use a widget that will display property categories and since on import each category will have different IDs, the settings will need to be done manually. First I will show how the section was created. Since the home page was created with Elementor, I will click edit with Elementor. I will scroll down. To the categories section. This is the one. We used here the VP Rentals categories slider. 
these are the categories set from the demo you can change the categories that will show here i will leave them as they are and i will go to admin and manually upload an image for each category used here i will go to admin you will find listing categories under listings they are categories what do you rent city neighborhood feature and amenities and property status in the home page categories from what do you rent were used so i will open this section to add an image i will edit the category i will press the upload image button you can select an image from media or upload one from your device i will select an image from my device i will click insert into post and press update i will go to home page I will refresh the page and now you can see the image that I just uploaded. Since the steps are the same for all categories, I will add the rest of the images of the record and after show the result. I added all images, now the section will look as the section from the official demo. And these are the steps that you need to take after the demo import. Next, I will show some quick guidelines on how to edit the homepage elements. So I will go back to the Elementor editor. I have Navigator enabled to have better access for each section added in the page. You can enable it as well from this button. I will start with the first section, which is the header one. We added here a slider with two images you will be able to replace the demo images with your own from style these are the images also you will be able to change the slider settings the next section is the search one here we created a search form using the search form builder widget here you will have the option to change the search fields and make other settings the settings from team option for search will not apply here and all settings for this search needs to be done from the search form builder widget the text added here can be changed from the heading widget from Elementor. Also, you will have options to change colors and other settings. For the search section, in advance, we added a negative margin top value so we can display the search over the hero section. You will be able to change the position by changing this value. Going further to the next section, here we created a section to display properties list. For that, we used the VP Rentals recent items widget. You will be able to make settings for the number of items shown, the number of items that will show per row. Also, you will have the option to filter the listings by categories and make other settings. Going further, in this section, we added the image box widget from Elementor. We added an icon here and text here. You will be able to change the image and replace it with your own and you will have the option to change the text for each element used in this section. In the next section, we created a section with two columns. Here we displayed an image. You will be able to replace this image with your own from the column inner section you will need to go to style and here make the settings that you want in the next column we added text and the button you will be able to change the text and the settings for the button used here we created another section with two columns just that here we added text in the first column and in the second column we added a video you will be able to change the video from the column inner section you will need to go to style and here you can change the video link and make other settings going further to the next section here we created a section to display listing categories. I have already explained how this section was created, so I will go to the next one. Here we created a testimonial section. For that we use the testimonial slider widget. You will have the option to replace demo details with your own. You will be able to change the person name, image and make other settings. You will be able to do that for each element added and you will be able to add 
new items. Going further to the next section, here we created a section for blog posts. We used the VP Rentals recent items widget. We selected it to display articles. And going to the last section in the page, here we created a section with two columns. In the first, you'll have this image. You will be able to change it from style section. Here you can delete the demo image and upload your own. And in the second column, we created a contact form with the contact form builder widget. You will have the option to change the fields from the contact form and make other settings. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.